So despite the name, you don't actually need a bench to perform bench dips. Whilst you're at home, you can use the foot of your bed, you can use a dining room chair, a sofa, or even a stool. To set yourself up for this movement, it's very important that you place your hands quite narrow and nice and tight into your hips. From here, walk yourself out slightly so that your, your glutes, your bottom, your lower back is quite close to the surface of the chair or bench or bed that you're doing it on and keep your knees at 90 degrees to begin with. Bend your elbows, keep your elbows tucked in as hard as you can so that they don't flirt outwards. Bend at the elbow and lower yourself down under control. The aim, if you have the mobility in your shoulder, is to go way below parallel and achieve a stretch in the tricep. You may also feel a stretch in the shoulder here too. Squeeze the triceps hard and push yourself back under control to the starting position. Now this variation is quite easy. To make it slightly harder, quite simply walk your feet out. You're increasing leverage, shifting your center of mass. So this is gonna feel a lot harder, a lot heavier on your elbows and triceps. Again, lower yourself down, keeping your lower back and glutes nice and close to the surface of the bed or sofa or chair that you're using. Go below parallel, keep control of your weight. I'm not sitting on the floor here. And then under control, extend at the elbow and squeeze your tricep at the top. You can, if you do have access to one, put maybe a rucksack or a couple of weights across your lap if you want to make this a little bit harder. A rucksack with some equipment inside it usually works quite well if you're at home and don't have access to weights.